Alex speakers. So uh, I'm going to introduce uh, Barry Chen. Uh, Barry Chen is uh, from IBM. He's a partner from the uh, financial service sector. Um, yeah, uh, let me get him on the stage. So yeah, let me try to paint him. Hi, Barry. Okay. So um, actually, I, I also know Barry for, for, for a long time. Uh, he is a really an experienced um, uh, a guy in the financial service sector. So uh, Barry, you can click there. Okay, I accept you here. Okay. So in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And uh, Barry's topic will be talking about the, 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 the latest uh, IBM Digital Banking Survey in Hong Kong. And uh, they will talk about how it related to the open banking areas. Okay. So let me check very Barry. Okay. So, hello, Barry. Hello. 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 Hi, hi. Hello, hello. I'd like to, uh, like to meet you again. And uh, thanks for your support. So uh, maybe you can try to share the screen first and then see uh, whether everything is good. Yeah. Give me one second. Let me put in the presentation mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. All right. Do you see it okay? Um, I I can't see yet. Um, wait, can you share? Um, is it already in on, in your screen? Talk, uh, talk about the presentation slide. Um, no, I I can't see yet. Okay. No, it's okay. Be okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay now. So you can um uh, do it in the full screen. Yeah. No problem. Yep. Okay. Good. So, um, uh, Barry, let, uh, I will pass the stage to you. Thanks for help. All right. So, uh, thanks uh, for inviting me um, to to join this event. I think it's a very useful event. Uh, the topic I'm trying to go through uh, is more related to the local market. Uh, I'm partner covering the banking business in Hong Kong uh, for IBM uh, Hong Kong, and uh, we have recently conducted a survey uh, in Hong Kong regarding the, the digital banking uh, trend. So, so what I'm trying to, to, to summarize here are those of the findings that uh, we have uh, identified uh, for the Hong Kong market and, then, uh, with, uh, and those that relate to the API, how API might transform, might be applied here. So, so I hope you will really find it very, uh, very practical. Um, so, so in, in fact, when we plan for this particular uh, study, uh, we can plan for the COVID-19. So we, we, we go for the digital marketing. But unavoidably, when we are serving the, uh, the customer, the, the two hot topics always come up. Will be COVID-19, yeah, what would the impact, what it will be, and I will talk about it as well. And also to very much related to the Greater Bay Area and well, how we could actually uh, capture the market, capture the water share under the new normal moment uh, and all under the, the, with the opportunity of the Greater Bay Area. So, so let me quickly summarize what this particular survey is uh, being, being conducted. Uh, it was a one-to-one uh, -one executive interview uh, survey. We interviewed 35 senior banking executives from seven traditional banking organizations, and also we have interviewed uh, three virtual banks. So it covered a wide range of uh, size, um, organization size, and also the, the type of um, uh, traditional banking, also virtual bank. And we also have questionnaire to collect uh, data that we will be using to articulate our findings. So um, in in summary, what, what we have looked into is, uh, what are the major uh, focus that banks planning to invest uh, and uh, planning to innovate yeah, yeah, for, for, their, for their business? That cover the uh, front-end integration, um, the product innovation, and also back-end 
it's actually more than the backend efficiency. It's more it, it cover also the collaboration uh, and ecosystem uh, play as well. So so what we have found, uh, I highlight in a few areas. We have a framework, and what we found that uh, from a customer experience side, uh, the major focus is how we could do hyper targeting and moment marketing. How we could capture the moment of tools and also highly customize the product and services. Uh, for for the, for the engagement, and most of executive very much care about the data driven uh, decision, how they could use data internally and also with partner data, and also the ecosystem. and And I think they are quite all of them are quite related to API capability. So I, I will talk a little bit more about that. And a general finding also cover uh, uh, data. I think well, when we interview them. Uh, one of the key feedback that we received uh, is that, um, well, uh, the major challenge, uh, they are not uh, um, uh, innovating fast enough would be, hey, um, they're not using uh, uh, data effectively yet. And uh, and the, the major three obstacles are the privacy law that they have to stick with. Um, although this is a must for, for, for banking, they, they really want to have some technology breakthrough in, in those areas to make it easier to use uh, data, especially external data or data sharing. And the internal silo and also the, the, the internal and, 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 and policies that they have to follow. So that highlights uh, the area of finding that, that, that we have uh, focused on for, for this particular survey. So, so, for, so I'll go through them to, uh, one by one. The, the, the hyper-targeting or mortgage marketing, most of the bankers that we have in the field, uh, they agreed that uh, it, the one size fits all yeah, approach for product and service is not going to be sufficient. Uh, for the the digital kind, the, the customer is already uh, ready or adopted the, the digital way of doing things for 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 some time, and banking have to catch up to provide more contextual, uh, more customizable services, and offer the such suggestion and uh, the, the for the particular product suitable for the customer, uh, based on the behavior, time, and place. And because and, and for that, most of the bank are, uh, find that the major after as I mentioned, are uh, have a bit of data internally, and how they collaborate with external data, and they really the objective is to be able to identify the life stage changes, yeah, based on the analytics, so that you can uh, bank and also to get with partner be able to. To target uh, and also identify the particular event like the different location or uh, um, um, shopping or or digital uh, uh, kind of a, um, uh, uh, activities going on. So, so those are uh, what banks is actually um, uh, driving to to achieve. Indeed, for the uh, other in some of the other industry like the retail, eco uh, and e-commerce industry has been more advanced in this area. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, they are looking into, uh, most of them are looking to invest investment in, in AI technology um, to, to help them with the banking, especially use it together, combining AI technology. Well, today, some of the leading banks are already using AI to help automate the tasks, helping using conversational banking. Um, well, what most of the uh, bank who decided to invest in the AI area, yeah, they are looking into making uh, decision, help using AI help make a decision, and help the frontline uh, staff to better understand what the customer wants. And indeed, most of them understand that for the AI technology, they have to leverage on leverage external to vendor to to be able to. Uh, provide them the technology and use of the API and open up use of the a use of the external uh, AI based uh, technology through API is uh, is well received. Um, so, so I would I would believe that uh, 2021 the the AI for banking would be a a, a major area uh, that they are investing in. Um, and also um, the, the the Greater Bay Area created new opportunity for them, no matter whether it is big or small, whether it's a traditional and virtual bank. The challenge that they that that the bank having is um, they they are addressing a potential market ten times 
uh, bigger than uh, what they have today in Hong Kong. So, uh, so this is where, uh, um, on the right hand side, if you look at the diagram, uh, for the wealth manager, the ultra high net wealth, uh, typically is it's like a one hour to care of 10 to 20 um, uh, uh, customer and for the high net wealth probably one to 50 or maybe 100 typically and also mass average one to 300 so the ability to grow uh, the the wealth management business is actually uh, in many ways limited by the number of hours that that, that, that that a particular bank having so so they have to find a way to to automate uh, and help the RM automate the internal preparation and also the compliance and decisions so that they will be able to take care of more customer and take care of more customer in a digital way. So this is another driving force uh, how they might be using AI and technology to, to help them. And about data, yeah, uh, well, for, for all the uh, um, senior management respondents, they 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 really believe that data is key. But uh, however, seventy five percent of those uh, said that they use less than thirty percent of the collected data, and as a consequence, they 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 use over ninety percent. Uh, they rely on external data, yeah, heavily, uh, in order to to do their work. So what that means is they really need a data management capability to consolidate the internal data, break the silo, combine with external data, and able to um, um, analyze using the various model to to equate the area. Um, mo most of the bank they put there as the number one priority. Yeah, not 2021 actually. Now they are preparing for the Greater Bay Area, um, for the reason that the uh, government and mainland China mainland China government as uh, as well um, uh, announced that, uh, the the new uh, initiative uh, to open up to, uh, the the business cross border uh, uh, in Greater Bay Area, including, for example, the Wealth Connect program. Yeah, the southbound uh, investment uh, from the high net wealth customer is one of the major uh, highlights for um, for the future opportunity. So, so, uh, so let's look at let's look at this diagram about uh, how 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 API might help uh, for the respondents. Eighty one percent of the uh, of the of the senior management bank senior management uh, indicate that Open API is the most relevant technology. Yeah, for the digital transformation journey in the next two to three years, and a number of them yeah already start using API to collaborate uh, uh, with partner in Hong Kong. So if I zoom in the diagram a little bit, so so we can read it a little bit easier. Um, so so for Hong Kong, for the financial services partnership and also bank with a non-bank organization. Yeah, there are quite some good examples. For example, Zhongan Bank, one of the, the, the first virtual bank online uh, production in Hong Kong. They work with Visa um, to target the younger generation to capture a cardless um, customer um, with uh, with technology uh, so and simplify the, the onboarding of a customer significantly and capture the market. Marx has been very innovative uh, in the, in convenient banking uh, and also a very stylish uh, um, uh, presentation of their services yeah, together with partners. And regarding the, the cross industry partnership, City and Hong Kong TV Mall is one of the earliest uh, uh, open API example in Hong Kong. Uh, use it, the pay with porn uh, uh, innovation is uh, well received uh, by the market and and also strengthen their partnership. And hence, and also using API to do in, instant property valuation. Um, and, and and this is also a, a very good use case for, for API. So, so now if you look at the diagram, if you look at the Greater Bay Area, now we have a 10 times adjustable market compared to the Hong Kong market. And there are a lot of room to use API to innovate yeah, between banking organizations. For example, the, the Wealth Connect program will be one of them, but there would be more collaboration between financial institutes in, uh, in Hong Kong and the Greater Bay Area. And uh, if even bigger opportunity when banks could uh, able to collaborate with uh, organizations 
and other industry organizations or network or ecosystem in Greater Bay Area. So, so we look at um, the, the three different approach. Uh, well, this is typical approach. In, in fact, that depends on the individual banking strategy. But, but in general, uh, we, we try to look into three way of uh, using API um, in innovation. Um, and all is driven by the, the fact that um, uh, indeed, 70% of the respondents for in the survey saying that uh, the tech giants will be leading the disruption in the bank industry. So that is a major driving force why banks need to go for open banking and use API for innovation ASAP. So, so we look at the three scenarios. For virtual bank, and stay, the, the innovation is inbuilt to the organization. They, they are the disruptor by, uh, by definition. But at the same time, they, they, they are just launched in the market. They have limited uh, number of customers yet. So how they could term, uh, penetrate the, the market would be, would be key. So the model that they would likely to apply would be how they could present their product and services in API and embed into other life, uh, other, uh, other business, other industry um, uh, ecosystem so that uh, well, that will be a a a, a better and easier way uh, to penetrate the market, leveraging partner uh, existence for the marketplace. It could be e-commerce, it could be other retail uh, industry uh, in the Greater Bay Area. For the small to medium size uh, bank, they they operate uh, with a very target customer set. Um, they might uh, go for a different strategy. We one of the the um, uh, the senior management uh, said with us that they uh, they are they're for the medium sized company. Um, they they're looking into partnership with a a particular niche player or dominant player in in the Greater Bay Area. For example, that particular company have a very good um, logistic uh, um, customer coverage uh, in Guangzhou area. So one opportunity would be uh, how they could partner with that major giant in Guangzhou for the logistic uh, um, operation uh, and financial uh, API integration so that they can help them grow the business uh, beyond China, but to Hong Kong and also to helping them to, to, to go beyond Hong Kong. So, so those are the, the, the area of innovation they the, the small to medium sized banking organization try to try to do identify who are the key partner with a sizable market uh, and also work with them to do the co collaborative innovation and and push uh, uh, new product together to uh, to the uh, to the joint uh, uh, customer set so so that would be another model um, the, for the large traditional banking organization. Um, their leverage could be different. They have the brand name is well known um, in the Greater Bay Area, and they could actually be the ecosystem uh, runner. They can operate the API ecosystem so that the fintech or other uh, uh, innovative player could actually tap into the ecosystem, be able to um, uh, leverage a brand name to 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 and 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 the and the uh, ecosystem to, uh, advertisement and, and publicity to uh, to go to market together. So, so this is a different strategy when your brand is already well known in China. And we also observed that a number of banks are opening the innovation center in Greater Bay Area, and and that I think that trend is is already started. So, so just um, um, to share with you a few model. Uh, that we have. Hey, Patrick, how much time I have? I, I, I do have some sample I can play if time allows. About four minutes. Okay, good. So, so I can I can go through. So, so some of the examples. These are these are examples. This is not something that we have heard from from the from the from the interview survey. We we just based on the model, based on what we have just said. What could be? So, for example, um, it, for the cross border. Um, uh, Greater Bay Area, um, there is already uh, existing product to allow uh, a customer in China or customer in Hong Kong use the property they have purchased in China and have the mortgage in Hong Kong. Yeah, so that they can use their the mortgage the funding 
the, the cash and invest on, on, on various things, uh, various exciting products in Hong Kong. So, um, but but so, so what API could potentially help is about how we scale it up and speed. Yeah, today this type of service is kind of uh, um, restricted in some of the major cities like Guangzhou, yeah, might be Xinjiang, and all, uh, and the valuation would, would take quite some time. Yeah, if we have the ecosystem play uh, using API, uh, connecting professional services, that could speed up the whole thing. What that means is, uh, yeah, I'll and wait uh, for uh, a few days for valuation and also some of the document exchange. Yeah, that could be done uh, uh, easier with electronic means uh, using API. And also, yeah, yeah, if the bank might have constraint not having the presence uh, in some of the other Greater Bay Area city. So that could be an API ecosystem that other professional service provider in the Greater Bay Area city could actually provide trusted valuation information. Yeah, so that yeah, you can expand the, the coverage of the uh, port water mortgage. So, th so that could be a, a, an example how API could potentially help banking organizations to collaborate with other financial institutes and professional services and grow the market. I do have one more example uh, in, uh, that, that, we, that we put up. If, for, um, if we go back to, to, to the, the third one, the, the, the ecosystem for the larger banking organization, potentially they could actually uh, create a, a professional service portal for SME, leveraging the API technology uh, and of, of course other technology as well. For most of the uh, uh, Hong Kong SME going to China, yeah, they need professional service, but well, who are the trusted professional services? So Bank it has always been a, a trusted partner of this SME, could potentially connecting professional services, not just a portal to provide information, a pointer, a phone number, but actually how they acquire the service um, yeah, through the network and get paid, get funding. So that could be a created the, the stickiness of the SME with the banking organization when they are going, uh, expanding into the Greater Bay Area. Similarly, for mainland China uh, organization, SME in Xinjiang or in Greater Bay Area, then they entering Hong Kong to go global. How do we could provide the professional services network for them? So, so this is one, uh, another example. Uh, a, a bank go beyond the banking organization, leveraging their trust, building ecosystem, use of API technology, connecting them, and uh, providing the, the speed of support and also the trusted and convenience of getting the uh, important services. So, so I think I, I stop here. Yep. Um, so uh, this is only a, a, a summary of a, of a same chart. So I think we talk about the model, uh, the what the bank thinking about how where they investing, the use of uh, API in AI area, and also very importantly, various uh, collaborative model that that they might have with partners. I think I leave some time for for Q and A if anybody wants to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, yeah, I think the time is almost up. But I I, I would like to ask one quick question. Uh, yeah. Um. You you mentioned about the the cross border API data etc. And then also based on our experience, there's quite different concerns about about regulations. Uh, the te te technologies, what whether the cow support etc. What is your your point of view about the bank's ch ch challenge? How they are how they can better prepare about the cross-border API data, et cetera. Mm. Yeah, this is true. So we need to observe the regulation very closely, what they what they could do. And and on, on two parts. One is on the uh, on the API getting the product and services. If they uh, are already the banking customer, I think there is a, a very good uh, uh, opportunity that they could actually use API to get the service uh, as, uh, as a proper uh, authorization uh, has been uh, have it, have it been kind of a peer approved uh, conductor uh, 